Hello and welcome to C Programming Zero to Neural Networks, where we learn C programming from scratch all the way up until neural networks. Today we are going to be covering comments, which is not a giant subject in computer programming, but it's an important one and lots of people seem to have a variety of opinions about it. So let's get straight to it. Let's make a comment.c and we'll include the C standard Input output library will make a main function of type int as always and return a zero to the operating system by convention. Let's make a very simple program. Well, we can, as we've covered, print out a star and we can print out many stars with with such kind of for loop syntax. Um, now, I might look at this code later on. I mean, this is a trivial example, but I might look at this code later on and wonder what it does. <laughs> and it's obvious what it does, but once things get a bit more complicated, things get less obvious what they're doing. I may want to um, clarify what this does. So I can write a comment above this. So I can't just write some text. Or, well, I wouldn't write it anyway. I can't just write, this is some code. Because the compiler is gonna complain that this isn't actual code, is it? can even prove that and it'll say error this is this some everything's gone wrong we've got like six seven errors if I want to write some text I have to put slash slash forward slash forward slash in C programming and then I can write whatever I want I can write a big long string of random letters and the compiler won't care it'll just ignore that line and uh, that's basically what a comment is. Now, you can write bigger comments. So let's say I don't want to write one line of words. I want to write several lines of words. I can do slash star and then go a bit further down and put star slash do it the other way around. And everything between that slash star and star slash forward slash is a, is a comment and is just ignored uh, by, by the compiler. It should be treated as a comment. And that's it. That's pretty much all of comments. <laughs> now, <laughs> we could end the video there, but as I said, lots of people have opinions about comments. So we could, for example, write a little comment above what's going on here and say, prints 10 stars. We could write that. I mean, it's kind of obvious that this is what it does to anybody who's um, used a for loop and a printf statement before. They don't really need a comment above that. But because we haven't covered any more complex parts of the C programming language. I can't exactly write up a really complicated example and go, and we could write this company. It's not going to explain comments very well, is it? But the, the premise is that a, a good convention is for anything that's a bit complicated, that uh, isn't immediately obvious what it does, to write a comment above it, to just sort of say what it does. Um, just so you can um, scan the code at a glance without having to understand each and every function. You can just read a description of what it does and if you want to change that part of the code then you can look into the function so that's pretty good practice is to um is to write uh, comment headers above complicated bits of code um what i would probably do here i mean this is again not going to let's do it let's do the square of stars a square of stars it sounds like um a book title or like a an old sci-fi series or something, The Square of Stars. <laughs> um, that'll do us. Put space there. Let's just check that works. The Square of Stars, perfect. Now I've got two indices here, and I'm using I's and J's. Now, again, this could be doing something more complicated. We're just printing out a Square of Stars, but if it was doing some, something bit more complicated, I might just write what the I's and J's mean. So I equals rows, J equals columns. And that would be enough. The rest of the function is self-explanatory. Um, pretty easily, easy to figure out that this is printing out uh, rows and columns of something. And the thing inside the two loops is the rows and columns that get printed out, which is a star. So that's like a, a quick lookup to um, say what these variables are actually representing. So that's quite good practice. It depends It depends on the, on the exact situation. And with how much we know about C programming lang language so far in this series, I can't really say much more than that about comments right now. But what I will say is um, that the comments are mostly for the person doing the programming. So 
there's a lot of, you see like really mean comments on programming stuff all the time don't you from people who think they're absolute geniuses and know everything and they usually don't and they're usually quite average because if you're spending all your time um, writing comments on other people's code then you're obviously not working on really good ideas <laughs> is my attitude towards those kinds of things um, yeah comments are for you and um, you should just use them for yourself who else is going to look at your code unless you're working on something absolutely magnificent and if you're new to C programming the chances are pretty limited pretty pretty remote that is going to be you know like the first thing you make is going to be some world changing piece of software it's just going to be your own bits of code isn't it so make your own conventions for doing comments. You can do whatever you want. You can, if it makes the code a bit more understandable to you, once you've written a few programs, then you're gonna start putting things down and picking them up later on and, and then maybe working on them again. And um, when you start doing that, you'll, you'll realize the importance of comments do help when to re-familiarize yourself with your own code. But you're going to be the, the main reader of your comments. <laughs> so just make comments that make sense to you. For example, I do. Say I've got quite a, end up with quite a big main function, which does happen sometimes. Certainly with like um, graphics programming, that you're going to end up with a big main function where you're initializing loads of windows and renderers and that kind of thing. So I might have, I might have some big block comments. So I might at the start put like init buffer if there's a buffer involved. And a bit further down, I might have main program loop. And then towards the end, I might have free memory. Now, I'll know the different parts of the main function are doing that, but the reason I write those comments is same somewhere else in the code, I just want to jump to the main program loop and just do main, and boom, I'm there. So you can, comments aren't just for um, making your code a bit more readable. You can use them to make the code easy to navigate. Now, you don't always have to do that, but it's, if you end up with one big function and you just want to jump to a section of it, then that is a really handy way to do it. Obviously, you have to be using a... Well, actually, all text editors have search facilities. doesn't matter which one you're using, do you? And that's another thing as well. People go on about which text editor you should use. Just, you know, it's just writing text. It doesn't really matter, does it? You pick one. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So, comments are important but not as important as some people make out they're important for yourself so that you can print stars so that you can read your code a little bit quicker and a little bit more efficiently and that's it that's comments done so you know take it out make it out what you will <laughs> right i'll see you next time